Most people find that flushing their toilet is a pretty simple activity, but what they don't realize is that the wastewater that they generate flows to through these very complicated treatment processes before the water is discharged to one of our waterways. It's our job to ensure uh, that no environmental damage and health issues are, arise from wastewater being uh, introduced into the streams and waters and lakes of the, of the seven county metro area. We're permitting and monitoring industries that discharge to the sewer to ensure that they're meeting compliance. Our wastewater plant operators primary job is to protect public health and how they do that is they run the equipment and the processes that result in a water that's discharged to the rivers that is actually cleaner than the existing water that's already there. An average day, if there is such a thing. Uh, the bread and butter part of our job is to go in uh, monitor industries. So we would head out in the van in the morning to our scheduled industries. We might be going up to Stillwater, we might be heading to Waconia, and anywhere in between. Uh, but we would be setting up uh, and servicing equipment, monitoring equipment, whether it's samplers or flow meters or pH meters um, at those industries. We'll be collecting samples, uh, we'll be bringing them back to our lab here and we'll be processing those samples. Uh, and then we'll ensure that those samples get brought down to the lab and um, we'll also be doing you know, the paperwork involved with that as far as reporting goes. On average day is, you know, you come in and find out what's going on and see if there's anything that's not working properly and then uh, set out with a route and where we're going to go and what we're going to take care of. We uh, go out and uh, remove blockages uh, to get the flow to go back down the pipe <laughs> where it belongs. Keeping it in the pipe is one of our main goals. Every day is a different day. Every week is a different week and I love going into the industries and seeing what the different industries do. In my job when I tell them what I do, they're always like, oh, that's not sewage. It's like, yeah, that's sewage. Well, you don't actually go down there. Yeah, we go down there. But all of the people that I meet in my day-to-day -day work are hardworking, dedicated individuals. These people work really, really hard, and it's not glamorous, and it's not comfortable, and it's not clean. They still come to work every day, and they buckle down and they break their backs and they work very, very hard to get the job done. It's not easy, you know, it's not a job for everybody. You gotta be physically able, uh, you gotta tolerate some smell. What the general public believes is that their water simply disappears down the drain. The general public doesn't know where it goes. They haven't a clue. People drive by this plant a hundred times and they don't know what it is. The first time I went to the uh, Metro plant, I was just amazed. I never knew it was that big and it was that complicated. It, it, it blew me away. Our quality of life is absolutely dependent upon our ability to handle our sanitary waste system. Without it, um, we would not be living the quality of life that we have here, nor would we be nearly as healthy as we are. We can get called at home in the middle of the night during a thunderstorm, go out and respond to a power outage or high flow and all kinds of things like that. And so you gotta act quickly when that happens and, and it can be difficult to do when you're in the dead of sleep, you know, and get woke up, so. You're snuggled up in bed at night and snoring away and you know, the, the thunder and lightning are outside. There's somebody out there working. 365 Christmas day, New Year's day, every day. We're rated top in the United States. You know, even from other countries, from Japan to Norway, have been coming over to Minnesota to see how we're doing it. So we're setting an example, not even just for the United States, for other countries in the world. 
each person in the Environmental Services Department plays their role. Uh, it might be a small role, but everybody plays a role to the whole big picture to ensure that the water that is discharged into our, into our rivers is clean. By making the water clean, it not only benefits Minnesota, it goes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Every little drop of clean water helps. And that's make me feel good, that, I, that I'm a part of that, that I actually kept that water clean for other folks and for the future. Do I consider myself an environmentalist? I've never really thought about that that much. But in a sense, I guess I, guess I am. Uh, I'm not a, a tree hugger, but um, you know, I, I guess what I do, uh, I'm passionate about, I, and, it, and it is beneficial to our environment. So I guess in a sense, I, I am an environmentalist. I would say the best part of my job is coming to work every day, the people that I work with, doing what we need to do, that's probably the best part of my job. It's everybody working together uh, to get this job done. If I ever needed help, I know these guys would be there to help me, you know? And, and you do want, you, you got somebody on a rope and you're on a lifeline, you want somebody that's gonna like you. <laughs> Hello base, we're all done at L13. I don't think about it that often, I guess, you know. Now that we're having this discussion, I'm thinking about it, that, uh, you know what, we do some pretty good stuff here, you know. Uh, um, you, you come in and you do your job and you want to do it well, uh, and you think you do it well, and you don't see always the big picture, maybe, but um, I think what we do is really good stuff.